The influx of people crossing the border illegally continues to be an adjustment. Those that work at the downtown Brownsville bus station say for them it's just a part of daily life. Uh, Channel 5's Daisy Martinez joins us from our Cameron County newsroom with more on how some local business is impacted. Daisy. Those working at the Metro bus station see it on a daily basis. The struggle and the desperation from people coming to the U.S. They tell us the bus station is a place where these crossers end one journey to embark on another. It's a revolving door of people in downtown Brownsville. Thousands arrive as others depart from the Metro bus station each year. Many of those coming here to catch a ride to their new life are people who cross the border illegally and those seeking asylum. Bus line worker Angel Rodriguez has seen the influx come and go. It was a lot. I mean, they used to come in bunches, 30, 40 at a time. And now it's only a few, 5, 10. And where are they coming from? Cuba, Ecuador, Salvador, Central America. Rodriguez says he doesn't just sell them their one-way bus ticket. He also hears why many risk it all to get here. All they want is better life for themselves and for the kids. Jose Antonio Espinosa runs a cell phone business at the bus station. He says 95% of his business comes from those who have crossed the border illegally, seek asylum, or are on a temporary work permit. They've kept his business booming for four years. Better future, they better pay, and also cheap labor is better for U.S. Espinosa is concerned about the upcoming change of presidents and how immigration policies will trickle down. I'm concerned about my work because they, the immigrants are the ones who, who made this business grow. So I really am concerned about my work. I don't know if I'm going to be without work for a long time. I don't know. Espinosa hopes whatever new immigration reform comes with the new administration won't put him and others out of business. They go to New York, Florida, I don't know, Utah. Um, basically, they go for construction, also for in the work in the fields. So they really, they, they really have an, a big impact in the United States. Rodriguez says immigrants will continue coming here one way or another. When they do, he'll be waiting to sell them their ticket out of the valley. These Metro bus merchants tell us that there's always people coming in and out of the bus station, but they say it's the Mexicans who have the biggest impact on the economy across the border. From the Cameron County Newsroom, Daisy Martinez, Channel 5 News at 6.